Welcome to the first of two, or maybe more, installments of the AI Superpowers video series. I'm your host, Mark Heckler, Principal Cloud Advocate of Java and JVM Languages at Microsoft. This series was inspired by two things. Firstly, some time back I created material with the goal of taking Java devs from doing admittedly cool, but not super useful, discovery projects with AI to a position of inspiration and accomplishment with AI. I called this AI202, and I began sharing it last month with Java user groups. Secondly, an announcement just this week that was a close parallel to what I began sharing last month. Validation is a wonderful thing, and so is sharing. So in this video, I'll show you the code to take documents of various kinds and in various locations and convert them to speech using AI. This capability is easy to implement and holds a great deal of promise in terms of accessibility and versatility. We'll start here. I already have my Spring Boot application running in another window. I'm just going to go ahead and bring in a file that I'm pointing to on the internet. And we'll take a look here at a couple of different files that I've brought in and, and converted to audio. So we have various different uh, formats in various different locations. I wanted to be able to in the code to accommodate local file system as well as internet-based documents and uh, various different formats. So the Apache Tika document reader allows us to absorb and ingest various different formats like EPUB and Doc, DocX, PDF, and so much more HTML. And I have examples here of, of a few of those, like just the HTML and all about coffee book and coffee and chicory. And of course, this has multiple formats. I tried this one and it works really, really well. Of course, you eliminate the images because you're going to be reading it to me, right? Or the AI will be. And then of course, I went with something like this because it's nice and concise. And that allows me to uh, bring this in during the demo and uh, keep things fairly short because obviously the larger the file, the longer it takes to convert to speech. So we'll go back and take a look. Oh, it's, it's done already. That was rather quick. So let's go ahead and look at this. We see that we have it there. So let's go ahead and VLC it. Introduction to coffee, a Turing and guide species and variety Y. Just as the many grape varieties give us different styles of wine, coffee has many varieties and flavors. The two key species of coffee that we drink are Arabica and Robusta. Although many others do exist, such as Liberica and Excelsa. Our Arabica Robusta flavor profile, citrus higher acidity, cleaner sometimes floral, lighter body, lighter crema, flavor profile lower acidity, earthy and round, richer body, darker, heavier crema. So we can see that that works and works pretty well. Let's take a look at the code. This is pretty streamlined. I've, I've worked hard to get it pretty concise. Now I did uh, take a few liberties. I had a few flourishes here because I wanted to be able to point at the local file system for files as well as anywhere on the internet that I can uh, make into a URL resource. And then I wanted to also log things so that we can see the progress as it goes because for a short file, this isn't necessarily a big deal, but for a longer file, we want to make sure that it's still actively doing something so that we don't get impatient and cancel it after uh, you know, several minutes into the process if it's a massive file. By doing this, I just uh, use the Tika document reader, as I mentioned, to import the file and do a get, which breaks us into documents, document objects. And then I process those, I convert those to speech. And by doing that, or in doing that, I just divide those further because the API for the speech model requires a maximum of 4,096 characters. So I'm just doing a little bit of math here to break that up and then uh, pass that in segments, and then reassembling those segments and saving it to the local file system. There's not really much to it once you get down to it. It works like a charm. So check it out, see what you think, and by all means, like and subscribe so you don't miss the next edition. There is more, and comments, of course, are always welcome. See you again for the next installment.